ladies and gentlemen, and also Azillo, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Castle Clickers. Castle Clickers is a brand new tapping slash clicking simulation game. In this game, you click to gain clicks, rebirth to earn gems, and you unlock crazy pets with super OP stats because that's what it says in the description for the game. Now, here's my message to Azillo. I am a Roblox YouTuber. Small channel. You don't like that, but that's not going to stop me from making content on your game. So whether or not if you acknowledge that factor, I'm still going to make these videos on your games, on everybody else's game. So you don't have to give me a YouTuber code. You don't have to give me a YouTuber role inside of Discord. You don't even have to watch this video until the end. You don't even have to pay any attention to the tags on Twitter and also the messages. Continue to ignore me. I'll still be the same exact person that I was during the start of this video which happens to be a Roblox YouTuber. So this game, ladies and gentlemen, it's brand new and there's a lot of things wrong with it. And I'm gonna explain something. I have switched servers about five to six times and I'm not lying to you guys. You guys know that I don't lie about anything. First off, let me say this, the game has potential because the pets are nice they're not boxy looking you know copies of bubblegum simulator type of pets these pets have a little bit of a unique factor so i like that the map itself it's large it's worth exploring that's good as well but the main thing is this game shouldn't have been rushed just to be honest first off my first day in the game, if you guys go into the stats, I will show you guys how long I've been playing the game for. So you go into your settings and you click on view. I've only been playing the game for under two hours. I opened 118 eggs. I discovered 14. And if I go to my pet inventory, ladies and gentlemen, I have no pets. <laughs> how could I have hatched 114 and not have a single pet to show for it so there is a pet glitch and it kind of sucks because i'm hatching some of the most beautiful looking pets you know what i'm saying and that's one thing that a lot of people in this game is really complaining about is the fact that they're losing their pets there's even glitches with the uh, portals as well. That is the reason why people keep resetting themselves. But everybody in here is still playing the game because they honestly love it. Like I said, it has the potential. But it felt a bit rushed. First day, I have managed to get everything inside of the Rebirth Upgrade Shop. This is all that is available right now. Auto Clicker, we have that going. Auto Rebirth plus more pets equipped so we went from equipping four pets to now we can equip 14 pets so that's that's great right there in itself egg opening speed walk speed and faster auto clicker so that is all that is available we maxed that out this is the robux pet i don't know why he's standing there he know good and well he can't afford it and look at the double mint twins they're wearing their exact same noob outfit <laughs> Over here, you have the crystal egg, which is going to cost you guys 85000 in clicks. In between, you have the heavenly egg, which will cost you guys Robux, 249 As you guys can see, the numbers are even glitching. Then over here, you have the basic egg for 500 clicks. Up this mountain up here is a daily chest that you guys can collect every 24 hours. Over here is giant canyons that you can click to launch yourself over to a private island where you guys can make it rain gems inside of the spawn area. 
Now you're using your clicks to purchase those gems. So it's kind of like a like a conversion of currency basically. You're converting your clicks into more gems. But the only issue with that is you're spending your clicks and it's going to be sprinkled all over here so everybody can just walk around and pick up your gems. You know what I'm saying? So they don't even have to spend anything. Whoever decides to launch themselves over there, they'll be spending for the entire server. You have quests coming up and I'm interested to see what those quests are. Clicking on these cannons and then traveling back over here to the spawn area, it does this like blurring screen factor. So as you guys can see, this guy just made it rain and we can just walk around and collect his stuff. This doesn't belong to me, but I can just walk around and just collect it. You know? So I'm getting plus 43.4 QN. Now, I don't have any pets equipped, so I'm not sure how I'm still gaining that much. But like I said, I've been losing pets every time I join a new server. Then if you go up here, you have your leaderboards, which are now glitched. They don't do anything. So, sorry about that. I had to walk away from the computer. So, like I said, these leaderboards are glitch. Um, not sure why. And also, fix this little jumping aspect. Like, you walk into things and it does this, like, super exaggerated jump. But the only thing that I can say, ladies and gentlemen, you won't have to worry about your stats. Your stats are actually staying. The pets is the main issue. Everybody's losing their pets. And this person that's making it rain inside of here is going crazy with all of these gems right now. Like I said, I don't even have to spend anything. I can just run around and profit off of this guy or girl because it probably was two people. <laughs> I did see a girl go over there. All right, so for the purposes of this video... I'm going to head into the volcano world because I've been walking in and out of the heaven portal and I don't think heaven has any eggs. So I did manage to hatch today at least five frost dragons. And I also had some um, exotics from Atlantis as well that I didn't even know were exotics. Like far as pet displays go from outside of the egg i would like to see like the you know the rarity or the tier of the pet just so i can know because all you have is just pictures and then they're not even um in proper order and what i mean by that is the numbers so like at the top it should be like you know common uncommon epics and rares and then at the bottom it should be like you know, legendaries, godlies, exotics, and secrets. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it is what it is. It's a brand new game. I, I'm supposed to expect this type of stuff, you know? But like I said, if you have to close it down, I would understand. Don't rush things. This game has potential, and I'm not putting it off. I'm not saying that it's, you know, just complete garbage. It's just minor tweaks that need to be updated in the game. This is the first update, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. This is literally only a couple days old. It was just made this month. Um, but like I said, once again, it has potential. Just fix the pet situation, um, the jumping aspect. Just turn that down just a little bit. Give us some more um, perks inside of the shop. And 
you know, maybe add some secrets and stuff so that way the eggs could be worth hatching. And that's about it. Ladies and gentlemen, I found this over here. I'm not sure what this is, but look, it says use code secret pet. And this is behind the rebirth shop. So that's a Zillow right there. And you guys can follow him on Twitter because he will post the updates and pictures on the game and stuff like that. And I believe he has a Discord server as well. So we're going to input that code and we're going to see what it gives us. It probably gives you a secret pet. And the secret pet is probably not going to be super OP, but it's probably going to be something that will help beginner players. And this is the first time that I'm using it. But I did discover this when I started the game over a hour ago. All right, so secret pet, let's see. Did I enter it wrong or something? All right, let's try capitalizing all of the letters. Okay, so we got it. We got the Wu Dragon. Okay, so hopefully this one stays. Let's see. <gasps> this is a dragon from the freaking island. I wanted this. Oh, God, it's insanely good. This is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Your simulators and just general in Roblox, you guys got to step your pet game up. The box pets, I mean, they're traditional because it's Roblox and everything like that, but I don't really like too many box design pets. I want something that will look like, will look like that, you know? And... As you guys just saw, I equipped it and it's not even out. It shows that it's equipped, but it's nowhere to be found. Unless it's invisible because it's a cold pet. I don't know. I'm just saying anything, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to stay positive and everything like that, but this factor of the pets issue, as you guys just saw, I redeemed that code and the pet is not even here. It kind of sucks. So like I said, these portals, you purchase them with your clicks. You don't have to jump out to any islands to discover anything. Over the top of each island, it will display how many clicks it takes in order for you guys to walk through it. All right, so this is what inside of the volcano looks like, which is pretty cool and this happens to be one of my favorite eggs but like I said all the pets in here are actually pretty good as far as the design goes for the pets so see this guy has the frost dragons and he has a total of 14 pets probably equipped right now he is a master clicker like me okay I see you my boy See, so we just got this one right here, the 0.9% chance pet from that code right there. And then there's something here that's at a 0% chance, and I believe that's like a secret pet, but I'm not officially confirming that. Like, Zillow himself will have to confirm this, so hopefully he can. All right, so we don't have triple and auto hatch in this game. You just have your single hatch. So we'll just fill this uh, inventory up. We have an inventory size of 25, and we can equip up to 14 pets. Now, like I said in the beginning, you start off with four pets, and then you get your perks from the rebirth shop, and it will allow you guys to equip plus 10 more pets. So 10 plus 4 is 14. There you go. Let's see if we get some of these frost dragons. So far, we're we're only getting these nasty um, freaking, what is these, like, mosquito pets. <laughs> like, ew. I almost slapped my screen just now. And, of course, I know what that's like. In the summertime, seeing those things fly around, you're slapping yourself like crazy. So that's like a ghost or something.
And it's actually a good thing I got the perk from the rebirth shot because opening the eggs without that speed inside of the rebirth shot was freaking annoying. Alright, so we're getting a ton of these things, which I really didn't want to get. I wanted to get a whole bunch of frost um, dragons. Like I said, I hatched five, but I want a team of like 14 of those. I just want to break the game. <laughs> Just like out of nowhere, just randomly break the game. All right, so we have 10 pets in here, so we can equip all of these right now. But I love this woo dragon, man. I was saying to myself, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to hatch that. And then I found this guy behind the freaking rebirth shop and it says right there in the message to redeem that for a secret code secret pet wow so we didn't even have to hatch the woo dragon which is at a 0.9 percent chance so here's the issue like i said you know with the pets you can equip and some of them you can delete and then some of them they honestly don't delete which is weird See, how do I have 10 pets in here? And then there's one that's, uh, okay. <laughs> I was getting ready to say something like, I have 10 pets in here, but there's one that's not allowing me to equip it. But yeah, it's like when I'm trying to delete some of them, some of them will delete and then others won't delete. And then look, I just equipped all of those pets and nothing is showing for it. So that huge glitch has to be fixed. Over here you have the an, the angelic or angel egg. This is a Robux egg. Not sure why it's placed in here. It should have been at the spawn area. And I'm not sure why they have so many uh, Robux eggs. But when it comes down to it, everybody needs Robux. You know what I'm saying? All these games and everything like that. In order for them to, you know, deliver high levels of gaming quality... <laughs> we also got to give back to them by spending some Robux in their game. All right, so there you have it, folks. This is Castle Clickers. It's not associated with Castle Defenders. They are two different games made by two different developers. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here, and also hit that share button, tag him on Twitter so that way he knows what's happening, and hopefully he can close down the game a little early to fix this game, you know? Because once again, it has the potential. I will continue to play it and make videos, but it has to be better. It just has to be. Like I said, I'm not looking for any validation from you because I'm already validated, if that makes any sense to you guys. <laughs> I'm already valid as a Roblox YouTuber. I've made videos on bunches of games even though that doesn't make any sense right there but i've made videos on a bunch of games i have given out Ro robux you know i've done live streams i think i have all the components of what a roblox youtuber looks and feels like but to certain people they don't see that they only have eyes for the you know the rich and famous, the people that will play the game like one time and then won't return to the game. I'm loyal to a lot of games that I play. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Um, stay tuned.